languages as a very important aspect of our lives when our kids are born into a different country from where they come from they have their mother tongue and they have their first language as they always say first and second language so we want to delve a little bit about languages um, talk a little bit about its history and then we discuss languages which is very important because that is our communication key that is what brings us together globally that is what governs us that is what makes us who we are that is what understands we it, it, it opens doors for us to understand each other so the study of language meaning is concerned with how languages employ logical structures and real world references to convey process and assign meaning as well as to manage and resolve ambiguity so ambiguity ambiguity is the sort of gray area when something is not really well understood so language helps us to understand each other so that there will be no gray areas when you communicate with somebody the sort of information that the person is trying to convey and cut across to you, you will be able to understand, digress and assimilate. You digest it. You understand and give the person back the reply that they need so that they also understand you. So there will be no ambiguity. There will be understanding. And there is not going to be any confusion because we understand each other. This category includes the study of semantics. How meaning is inferred from words and concepts? That's semantics. How meaning is inferred from words and concepts? So it's very, very important for us to, to have a background of about our languages because this is what makes our kids or children unique. And pragmatics. How meaning is inferred from context? That is pragmatics how meaning is inferred from context because sometimes somebody is going to write something and you need to gather the meaning from that construction of sentence and that is called pragmatics and when it comes to the semantics how meaning is inferred from words and concepts so every sentence or every word has their meaning so you have to understand that language before you can communicate so that people will understand you so linguistics also looks at the broader context in which language is influenced by social cultural historical and political factors this includes the study of evolutionary linguistics which investigates questions related to the origins and growth of languages historical linguistics which explores language change social social linguistics which looks at the relation between linguistics variation and social structures psycho linguistics which explores the representation and function of language in their mind neuro neuro linguistics which looks at the language processing in the brain. Language acquisition, which focuses on how children or adults acquire language. And discourse analysis, which involves the structure of text and conversation. So it's good that we are touching base on language because that is the crust of society. That's what makes us who we are. Although linguistics in the scientific study of language a number of other intellectual disciplines are relevant to language and intersect with it 
sometimes or semiotics for example is the general study of signs and symbols which is part of language because as your kid is developing and growing they need to learn signs and symbols which they will understand when they, they see it written on the wall or when they see it written somewhere they need to understand these um, semiotics which are signs and symbols both within language and without literary theorists study the use of language in literature linguistics additionally draws on and informs work from such diverse fields as acoustics anthropology biology computer science human anatomy inf inf informatics neuroscience phys philosophy psychology sociology and speech language pathology so these are all the areas that our kids our children are studying in order for them to become adults and lead the nation and have leadership skills they need to have some sort of history or a background on linguistics so that they understand the nature how language came into being how we were able to communicate how we were able to understand each other from the word go that is a very important thing that we are talking about but i think that with the linguistics we're not going to go too much in the history of the linguistics i think we will um give it a break here and then we will continue with the linguistics some other time because we have the dialects and we have the history and we have all them things that are functional to our society but we're not going to go through that into this the, the disciplinary so the linguistic have got a more broad topic in this area that we were supposed to discuss but is all up in this book here I, I i explained more into details on the, the linguistics because that is what holds the society when it comes to politics when it comes to um our various areas history when it comes to communication when it comes to our enterprises when it comes to our business is language that holds everything together so we have to talk about language so that our kids are able to understand the history of language and how best they can combine their two languages because if you are a black british you need to understand your parental dialect and then the language that you were born into which is your first or second language that's english so you need to understand the history of linguistics so that you know that in history language is the crust of society language is what holds society together and language is what makes everything understandable there shouldn't be any ambiguity so we will just stop here with the language um, topic and then we come back with another topic which is going to help our kids develop so please don't forget to don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share don't forget to like and hit the notification button hit the bell icon and get your new videos rolling in Thank you for watching.